with me now is David Buskila. He's a former mayor of the Israeli town of Sderot, which uh, lies less than a mile from the border with Gaza. And by virtue of that geographical proximity, of course, has been subject to many rockets. You know, uh, Sderot is close to Gaza since 1948. It was days of silence between us and Gaza, but in the last 13 years, there is more than 9,000 rockets that launched from Gaza to the road and the settlements around Gaza. Because of that, what do ordinary Israelis living in that town and elsewhere, in your opinion, want Benjamin Netanyahu to do? Uh, what do they think he can be allowed to do by his cabinet? I think that uh, we must stop the ability to launch rockets to places like uh, like the road and other towns in Israel. Now we saw in the last operation, they arrived also to almost to the north of Israel with rockets from Gaza. We have to be there. It's part from our country. It's not an occupation area. It's our uh, town. It's part from Israel's sovereignty. And we have to be there. We want to live in peace. But no one let us. In the last 13 years, we have, we have not almost the ability to leave there. We have 15 seconds since the time that we heard the siren, since the time that the missile hit the town. The problem is that it, it, it's difficult to see with these twin tracks of a military operation and, and talk of a truce, how you can actually achieve progress with both those tracks operating at once. I didn't know if you can... Well, uh, on the one hand, there is talk of a truce, and uh, Israel says it wants to accept these proposals. It, it's accepting the proposals put forward by Egypt, but at the same time, it, it's threatening further military action against Hamas. So that makes it difficult, does it not, for an actual truce to really get off the ground. I, I don't. I don't want to touch a political uh, uh, question. As, as someone that represents now the JNF UK, and as a, as a former mayor of the road, I have to tell you that I feel very sorry about people that died and injured in the both sides of the border. But I want to tell you something. The fact that we accept the proposal of ceasefire, the Egyptian proposal, is is something that shows that we want to live in peace. And the only thing that we ask is to let our children grow normally and, and stop to launch rockets to our towns. And we're just seeing on uh, one of the news agencies that uh, Benjamin Netanyahu is saying that Israel will intensify the Gaza campaign if Hamas rejects the ceasefire. Um, the UN has been saying that over three quarters of the Palestinians killed are in fact civilians. Do you think that Israel really needs to look at its military operation again if it's going to uh, achieve, well, if not uh, certainly a lasting peace at this stage, at least the beginnings of a truce? We want to live in peace. It's not something big to ask. We want to grow our children normally. We no other country in the world except that uh, the her citizen will suffer from missiles attack, daily missiles attack. We want to stop them to not launch missiles more to our towns. In this morning, the time that they talk about ceasefire, they continue to launch rockets. It was twice, siren in Zderot and other towns in Israel. The fact that they didn't success to kill so many people in our side is because the, our government and charity organization like JNF UK invest a lot of money to build bomb shelters for people, to build safe playgrounds for people, to give to the people that live in our side of the border better conditions to survive. But if, if so many civilians, uh, Palestinian civilians, <laughs> are being killed, surely those are exactly the sort of conditions that are going to give rise to more support for the Hamas militants. You know something, the fact, first of all, I feel sorry 
as a former mayor of the road, as a representative of GNF in this case, I want to tell you that I feel sorry for innocent people that died. I feel sorry for the children that suffer in the other side of the border. But you have to understand that someone that launched more than 9,000 rockets in 13 years mean to kill a lot of people in the Israeli side. The fact that it's not happened, it's because uh, we invest a lot of money to protect the people, to survive. Uh, passive protection and active protection. The Iron Dome is active protection, and the passive is to build a bomb shelters and to build playground, safe playgrounds for children like JNF UK that is the David Whiskey, the former mayor of Zirot. Thank you very much for coming along to talk to us this morning. Thank you. Thank you.